Hello, today we're talking about exponential equations, and those are equations that have a variable as the exponent. So put this in as, change the wording just a bit, but it's as exponents. And it's very similar to what we've been doing, but this time the difference is, is it's an actual equation, and so you're going to have it equal something, you're not going to be substituting in a value. So there's this thing called the property of equality, and it's a little bit confusing in words, but basically, in a nutshell, if two things, okay, so I'm going to write it a little bigger. So it has 2 to the x equals 2 to the fifth. So if you have something like that, then this property says that that means this has to equal 5, because the bases are the same, and that means the exponents have to also be the same if they're equal. And so this is a property that can help you solve some of these equations. And so 3 to the x plus 1 equals 3 to the 5th. As soon as you see that the bases are the same, and then you can say, wow, that means that this has to equal this. And so sometimes it's not as straightforward as just saying x equals 5. This time you set up your own little equation, x plus 1 equals 5, and then go ahead and solve it. So x equals 4. Okay, let's look at another one. So all the ones on today's lesson, the base is already going to be the same. And just double check, so the base is the same, which means the exponents also have to be the same. So this has to equal, wait a second, where, where's the exponent? Just remember, if you don't see an exponent, put a 1 there. So 2x minus 3 equals 1. And solve it just like you'd solve any regular equation inverse operations, divide by 2, x equals 2. Alright, so this one, once again, same base, check, check, and then this has to equal this. So we've got 3x equals 2x plus 3. Now remember, when you have variables on both sides, you have to subtract one of those clusters to get it over to the other side. That's gone. And then we have 1x equals 3. And 1x is just the same as x, right? So you've already solved it. Okay, let's look at a few more examples. Something's a little weird with my page here. Okay, problems are the same though. Okay, so we've got 2 to the 2x equals 2 to the 6. And so check. Same base, right? So exponents have to equal each other. Divide by 2, x equals 3. Same base. Feeling kind of like a broken record here. Okay, so we've got 2x equals x plus 1. If you have a variable on each side, make sure you subtract to get x equals 1. Alright, one more example. Okay, so we've got 7 to the 3x plus 5 equals 7 to the x plus 1. Seems pretty complicated, right? But as soon as you see that those bases are the same, go ahead and set those exponents equal to each other. It becomes its own little mini problem. Get your variables over to one side. So we get 2x plus 5 equals 1. And now you always want to get rid of the thing that's added or subtracted before you get rid of the thing that's multiplied or divided. So we end up with 1 minus 5 is negative 4. Divide both sides by 2. And x equals negative 2. Alright, that's it for today. And we'll save exponents with different bases for tomorrow. Talk to you later. Bye.